Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to make Pareto charts in Google Sheets. Before we look at how to create a Pareto chart, let's just quickly go over what Pareto charts mean or what they're used for. A Pareto chart looks something like this. It consists of a combination of a bar chart and a line chart with the bars arranged in decreasing order of height. Pareto charts are mainly used to demonstrate the Pareto principle, which states that about 80% of all problems or issues arise from about 20% of the causes. In this Pareto chart, the x-axis represents different types of defects found in the products of a textile factory, an imaginary one. The bars here represent how frequently these defects occur. And they're in decreasing order. So the fabric defects here occur the most, then the trimming defects are a little less than that, and so on. The line here represents the cumulative percentage of each defect's frequency. In other words, how much does each of these defects contribute to the total number of defects? We see a slight bend here, if you can see, which says that the most significant defects occur up until this point. So that means the fabric and trimming defects are the main culprits. They are the most significant contributors to the total defects. So that means you can reduce a big chunk of your defects simply by resolving these two defects. Resolving the other defects will not make much of a difference. So I hope that explanation of how to interpret a Pareto chart was clear enough for you. Now let us see how to create a Pareto chart. Let's use the base data for the same example. This is the base data. As you can see, we have here a frequency table that contains the different defect categories and the number of times these defects were found. These defects were taken over different time periods. That's why you have them repeating. See, you have fabric two times, hemming two times. The first time there were 10 defects found in fabric and the next time there were four defects found in fabric. These, so since these defects were taken over different time periods, we will need to first consolidate this data so that you have the total frequency for each type of defect instead of all this repetition. So we can use the query function for this. We can say equals query. We want to extract data from these two columns, A1 to B. Then from here, we want to select column A and sum of column B, where B is not null. We don't want to bother about any of the null or blank cells of column B. And we want to group the data group by the defect category, which is A. So this query is going to group these columns A and B by defect type and sum up the frequency for each defect type, as you can see here. See, fabric was 10 and 4, which is 14. Buttonholes was 3 times and 2 times. So you have total, total frequency of 5 times and so on. This column here, the frequency column, is going to be represented by the bars in our Pareto chart. By the way, we want our bars to be sorted in descending order, remember? So we need to specify the clause here, order by sum of B. DESC means descending order. So we want to order the, the query result by frequency in descending order. And you can see now it's ordered in decreasing order of frequency. Next, we also want to show the cumulative percentage. The cumulative percentage is just the percentage of each frequency over the total frequency. Each cumulative frequency, not just frequency, each cumulative frequency over the total frequency. We can find it by using the formula. First, let me just give the heading, cumulative percentage. Okay. We can find it using this formula. Let me just type the formula out first, then I'll explain it. Sum dollar e dollar two to e2 divided by sum dollar e dollar two to dollar e let me just press the return key you understand what this means 
the denominator this one finds the total frequency or the sum of all these cells in this column which is from e2 to e all the cells if you add any new cells uh, if you add any new defects also these will get added over here the numerator finds the cumulative frequency for this category okay so why have i put a relative reference here and an absolute reference here this is because we want this reference to change every time we copy this formula to another cell but we want this reference to remain unchanged so so when this formula is copied to the next cell we get the sum of this cell and this cell see this becomes e2 to e3 e2 to e3 when we copy it to the next cell we get the sum of all the cells starting from e2 all the way to e4 same goes for the next cell okay and so on so for each category we find the cumulative frequency of that category divided by the total frequency of all the categories now this is not exactly in percentage right so let's format it to a percentage value so select it go to format number percent it's now all percentage values and as you can see the cumulative percentage keeps aggregating as you move down the data set and reaches a hundred percent in the last row because all these defects put together account for 100 percent of the total defects now our data is ready we can go ahead and create the pareto chart as of now google sheets does not have a separate chart option for pareto charts but we can use the combo chart option and customize it to create a pareto chart so let's do that select your source data go to insert chart and as you can see by default google sheets looked at your data and recommended a combo chart as the best way to visualize the data but sometimes if you don't get this by default and you get some other chart instead then you can always change it like this so just double click on the chart if you can't see this chart editor and then from here click on setup the setup tab and then click on this drop down and select combo chart You'll find it either under the suggested category or the line category. Okay. All right. Next, if you look at the chart, the bars look fine, right? But the line doesn't. This is because this line is not representing your cumulative percentage yet. So what do you do? Go to your chart editor, click on customize, open the series section and select cumulative percentage from here. Now we want the cumulative percentage to be the right axis of the Pareto chart. So from this axis drop down, select right axis. Now your chart looks like a Pareto chart, right? Let me just change this defects Pareto chart. So as we can see, the fabric and trimming defects make up most of the total defects because the line is the steepest at these two points and these two defects account for around 65% of all the defects. So that means if you just resolve these two defects, you can reduce your factory output defects by more than 65%. Interesting, right? So, well, that's all for this lesson. I hope you understand the concept of Pareto charts a little better and also now know how to create a Pareto chart in Google Sheets. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you and have a nice day.